This video is part of the Louisiana Tech Nanotechnology Education Series on YouTube. First, let us get introduced to organic electronics. Organic compounds are essential compounds based on carbon. They were discovered accidentally by Frederick Buhler, who showed that it's possible to synthesize these compounds in a lab. These compounds are an inherent part of our day-to-day -day life. So why organic electronics? These compounds are light in weight and flexible. Their easy availability makes them cheaper and they are not harmful because of their degradability in nature. Around the year 1980, the electronic properties of organic compounds were discovered. Since then, organic compounds are used for fabrication of many organic electronic devices. The focus of this paper will be the synthesis of PTCDI nanostructures and their application in electronic devices. Now let us learn something about the phenomena of pi pi stacking which makes the formation of PTCDI nanostructures possible. This phenomena occurs because of the intramolecular overlapping of 2p orbitals which form pi pi bond. These pi pi interactions cause the molecules of PTCDI to be arranged in a stack wise manner. This pi pi stacking along with hydrogen bonding is responsible for formation of PTCDI nanostructures. Now let us look into the synthesis of PTCDI nanostructures. Two approaches each with their pros and cons are used for self assembly. They are gas phase and solution phase self assembly. In gas phase self assembly process PTCDI powder is heated in inert atmosphere or vacuum. The molecules self-assemble on glass, ITO or quartz substrate to form nanowires like those shown here. Solution phase self-assembly is much simpler than gas phase self-assembly. In this process, two solvents are mixed and the pi pi interactions at the interface of these two solvents are exploited to form nanostructures as shown here. The growth mechanism was studied by observing a PTCDI nano belt at different time intervals during its synthesis. It was seen that the growth starts from a PTCDI nanoparticle and the structure then grows upwards. The diameter of nanowires can be tuned in the solution phase self assembly by changing the carbon side chain lengths. Similar tuning can be done in gas phase process by changing the substrate temperature. Now let us look into the applications of these PTCDI nanostructures in electronics. In the first approach, a silicon wafer is taken. This acts as a gate. Silicon dioxide is then grown over this wafer to form a dielectric layer. Gold or platinum is then deposited by lithography to form the source and the drain. Nanowires are then drop casted to form a channel between the source and the drain. In the second approach, the nanowires are drop cast on the silicon dioxide layer and then gold or platinum is patterned over it by lithography. This is an image of a nanowire deposited between a source and drain fabricated by lithography. The transfer characteristics of these nanowire FETs have been studied by several research groups. Organic nanowires have been used to form circuits over flexible substrates such as this one. In the future, these nanowires can be incorporated in organic LEDs such as this one and in commercial products such as this flexible ebook reader to improve their performance. 